If I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, isn't living low carb dangerous? I'd be coming to you not from my backyard today, but instead from a Caribbean resort where I could spend the rest of my days. I'm completely comfortable living in a state of ketosis every day, all day, and I'm here today to tell you why. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Five on Fridays. This is Christine. Today I'm gonna to discuss with you the labs and tests that I use to track my way of living. Keto and low carb living does get some bad media attention. When people question me about my low carb lifestyle, I like to joke around and say, hey, I love to live dangerously. But truly, I don't believe I'm living dangerously because I track labs and test so that I can monitor my health markers. And just as a reminder, as I state in all my videos, I'm not a healthcare provider, I'm not a doctor, but I have some amazing doctors that are monitoring my lifestyle and that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. I hope this video will be helpful for you today. You'll be able to see what health markers I'm tracking and what I'm discussing with my doctor. I'm someone that's been following the ketogenic way of life and intermittent fasting for two and a half years now. I successfully lost over 100 pounds and I've kept it off. And most importantly, I feel amazing every single day, all day. Let's get started. First of all, I can't emphasize enough the reasons why I track my health markers. As I struggled in obesity for almost 30 years, I learned things like I'm insulin resistant, I have metabolic syndrome, and I was pre-diabetic. Being an accountant, I also have a slight fascination with numbers. So of course, I keep track of everything on a spreadsheet. I've actually blogged about my lab and test tracking, so I wanted to let you know that the spreadsheet that I use for myself, I've put in my subscriber resources on my website, joyfulketolife.com, so you can go ahead and grab a copy of that for yourself if you'd like. I'll put a link below to my blog post, and you can go ahead and grab that. So as I like to tell everyone in my videos and on my blog, I think it's extremely important that you find some doctors that will help you along in your journey. I have three. First of all, I had my sleep doctor when I had obstructive sleep apnea. He was the one that monitored my need for a CPAP machine. And he was super pleased when I did a repeat sleep study and found out that I no longer needed a CPAP machine because my obstructive sleep apnea had been reversed. The second doctor I have monitoring my health is my cardiologist. Now, I don't have heart disease, but I have a very strong history of cardiovascular disease. So, my dad's doctor wanted to keep track of all of my dad's kids. Interesting tidbit, my cardiologist is the one who planted the seed in low carb living. When I had told him that I quit sugar, meaning the white stuff, sweet stuff, he said, great, now quit bread, potato, and pasta and see what happens. And that was a long time before I even knew what keto was. So I thought he was a little bit crazy at the time. <laughs> but I'll talk more about him in a minute. The other doctor that I have in my life monitoring my health is my functional medicine MD. I just happened to have had an appointment with her this week, so I thought this would be a great time to talk to you about what I track. First and foremost, as someone with the metabolic health that I have, fasting insulin is the most important test. You're probably going to have to ask your doctor to order this test. It's not something that's ordered normally. I can't even imagine what my insulin test results would have been if this was something that doctors would have monitored 10 years ago, five years ago, three years ago as I started my journey. But I am happy to say that uh, my insulin level is well within normal ranges and it's gone down each and every half a year that I test. So I'm very pleased about that. Another important test that my doctor likes to track as well as I do is my fasting glucose which is your HbA1c. This gives you a good snapshot 
of what your sugar levels have been over a three month period. I was in the pre-diabetic range a few years ago, but happily my blood glucose HbA1c has settled around 4.5%. That's an excellent result based on my low carb lifestyle. The most fascinating lab test that my doctor orders for me, I actually had to request this. It's a much more advanced test and it's called the NMR lipo profile. Like I said, it's more advanced than your standard cholesterol profile. This test breaks down your cholesterol panel further. It gives you calculations for your LDL cholesterol, for your HDL cholesterol, triglycerides, total cholesterol, the size of your cholesterol, like if you have the big fluffy cholesterol or the small LDL particles. And another interesting uh, measurement that this does is the lipo protein slash insulin resistance measurement. The LPIR score is an excellent measure of your insulin resistance and diabetes risk markers. I'm sure if I had had this monitored three years ago, my LPIR score would have been off the charts. But I have successfully been making my way on a downward trend with this measurement and my doctor is really happy and so am I. And another quick note about the NMR lipo profile, you might wanna make sure that your insurance will cover this test because it could be costly. Fortunately, mine does cover it every four months. I haven't seen my cardiologist in two years now and I think he's gonna be very interested to see my test results based on my keto lifestyle. I have an appointment with him in August and I'll share again about his response. As a cardiologist, I think he will be super interested in seeing the trends of my results. I think there's a lot to be learned yet about cholesterol and I hope to pass on a little bit of knowledge to him. Anyhow, as a reminder, the NMR lipo profile is something you will have to ask your doctor to order for you. I have to mention that at the beginning of my health journey, I spent hundreds of hours researching and I came upon an awesome resource which pointed me in the direction of what labs and tests I should be tracking on my low carb journey. One of the best resources that I use is from Dr. Georgia Ede's website, Diagnosis Diet. Dr. Ede wrote a blog post called How to Diagnose, Prevent and Treat Insulin Resistance. And that blog post is very informative. I highly suggest you check it out. I'm gonna post a link to it below. Also, she includes a handy dandy worksheet in there that you can take to your doctor with you to share with him what types of lab tests you would like ordered. So Another they, typical lab test that your doctor probably always orders is the chemistry panel. This is the one that will share with you your results on sodium, potassium, calcium. It also includes your glucose, your total cholesterol. Make sure your doctor includes this. The results are important to how we balance out our electrolytes in our keto or an intermittent fasting journey. And I didn't want to make this video too long today since I blogged about it, but a few other important labs my doctor orders for me are the homocysteine marker is measuring a common amino acid in your blood. A very high level is linked to early development of heart disease, so it's an interesting thing to track. By the way, I'm happy to say that all of my results are in the normal ranges right now. I say right now because another interesting lab that I like to track is my cortisol. The last time I had my cortisol tested, it was sky high compared to my normal results. I don't think it's a coincidence that I was under a lot of stress at work at that time and I could feel it on a daily basis. My stress was just out of control almost and my cortisol level completely shot up way above a standard norm, but I'm happy to say when I had it tested a few weeks ago that the result is back into a normal level range. <laughs> because if our stress is out of control, our cortisol hormone is going crazy and that can be very detrimental to your weight loss journey. I'm not sure if you know this, but cortisol hormone is another one that we need to learn how to manage. Learning how to manage stress yeah, it's all part of this process too. 
And one more that I'd like to mention is the C reactive protein test. I like this test because it's a measurement of inflammation in your body. And as I started out my journey, I noticed that my doctor had been ordering this test in the past, not knowing what it was. And my C C-reactive protein test results were always really high and they're starting to come down. Oops, this is the only lab test result that was slightly above the normal range. But it has come down significantly and it's almost in the normal range, so my doctor is very pleased with that. The CRP is a protein made by your liver and it's sent into your bloodstream in response to inflammation. You want to see that test result in the normal range as you're healing your body. What are you tracking on your journey? I'd love to know if I've missed anything that you're tracking that might be helpful to those of us in the low carb community. Leave a comment below. Give us your best tips for tracking. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I blogged about all this and I made a great list on the blog with links so that you can go and read about each particular test. If you need more information, check out my link below to my blog post. There you can also grab a copy of the spreadsheet that I use to track my test results. And again, I highly encourage you to find a keto or low carb friendly doctor. As the news is spreading about our lifestyle, I'm finding more and more doctors are open to discussing and considering this lifestyle to help heal our metabolic health. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you take advantage of the resources linked below. There's a complete list for you to use. If you're not a subscriber yet, I would be happy for you to subscribe and click the bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when my videos show up on Fridays. Thanks for watching. I'm so happy you're here to go on this joyful journey together. And as always, have an awesome day and choose joy. Bye. Kitty kitty.